one ordinary pen placed in one ordinary glass of water. You place it down straight and it's magnified. Then we tilt the pen and suddenly it looks bent. What is happening here? First, let's start with an analogy. Say we have a car on a racetrack surrounded by rough dirt. When the car's on the racetrack, it carries on going forwards at the same speed. But when one wheel hits the dirt, the friction causes that wheel to go slower than the wheel on the other side. So this wheel acts as a pivot and the car spins around. Now let's use that analogy to explain how light travels through a block of glass. Initially, we start drawing rays. But then we realise that we have to think about light as a wave in this situation, so then we modify a diagram. Light travels slower through glass block, so the same thing happens as would happen to the car. As soon as one part of the wave touches the slower, denser glass, it bends and starts moving slower. And then it reaches the outside, and the opposite happens, it moves faster and bends back again. You can use this analogy to remember that when light travels into a denser material, it travels towards the normal, and when it travels into a less dense material, it travels away from the normal. Now we can go back to the original demonstration and explain that using refraction. You'll notice, however, that this is pretty much the same type of ray diagram and the same concepts as we explored last week with convex lenses. You can see here we end up with the magnified image, as we saw. When the pen is tilted and off to the side, however, and we try to draw a radiogram straight from the pen to our eyes, we notice refraction causes the light rays to bend straight off away from our eyes. To solve this, we need to draw a new set of ray diagrams, bending through the air and the glass to meet our eyes. However, this ends up with an image that is both magnified and to the side of the actual object. And it's this which produces the weird optical illusion that we saw.